Now for the first part then of this question we've got to find the midpoints of the 21 to 25 hour and the 31 to 40 hour groups. And to do this all you've got to do is find the mean between the lower bound and the upper bounds of your class interval. And you've got to be careful with tables like this. You can see that this goes from 20 to 21. There's a gap here, but this was measured to the nearest hour. So in other words, this value here goes from 20.5 up to 25.5. And the same with this interval here. This goes from 30.5 to 40.5. So when it comes to finding the midpoints, we should really make sure we just add these two values together and divide by 2. So if you add 20.5 and 25.5 together you're going to get 46 and if you divide that by 2 you end up with 23. So 23 is the midpoint there. And again for this midpoint if you add these two values up you've got a total of 71 and if you divide 71 in half you get 35.5. Okay, So that's the middle value of these class intervals. Now for this next part we've got a histogram was drawn to represent this data and the 11 to 20 group was represented by a bar of width 4 centimeters and a height of 6 centimeters. And in part B we've got to find the width and height of the 26 to 30 group. Now to do anything like this what I tend to do is a sketch. I'm sure it can be done without a sketch but I often think that having a sketch just helps understand this problem. So I've got the horizontal axis there as ours and this axis for a histogram would be frequency density which I'll just write as FD. So when we're looking at say the first class interval 11 to 20 if I was to mark it on here, this is our 11 to 20 group. Okay. Now this is not drawn to scale, all right. So uh, don't uh, make any comments about that. But uh, 11 to 20, this value here would be at 10.5, and this value up here would be at 20.5. So what we've got here is a width of 10 units, but that width was 4 centimeters. And when it comes to the height, we're told that the height of this bar was 6 centimeters. And that height is equivalent to the frequency density, this value here. And how do we work out what frequency density is? Well, frequency density, FD, would be the frequency divided by the class width. Now the frequency for this was 15 and the class width we see is 10 units. So 15 divided by 10 which is 1.5. So this value here is 1.5. So the height which corresponds to the 6 centimeters is 1.5 units. Now when it comes then to working out finding the width and height of the 26 to 30 group, well the 26 to 30 group is going to have a width of 5 units because when it comes to plotting that, okay, let's just draw that bar in and again it's not drawn to scale so uh, it's just trying to illustrate a point though. This 26 to 30 group, the lower bound here is 25 and it goes up to 30 which is now 30.5 so you can see hopefully that the width of this interval is just 5 units and we're trying to find out how many centimeters that will be well it's pretty obvious because if this was 10 units for 4 centimeters 5 units is half of that so you can see the width is going to be two centimeters. So let's just put that in that the width is going to be two centimeters. But for the height, okay I'll just put this in as two centimeters by the way, but for the height here let's just call it H. 
What's it going to be? Well, we're going to need to work out again the frequency density. And the frequency density for this particular one would be the frequency then, which is 8, divided by the class width, which is 5. And if you do that, you get 2.6. So all I need to do now is just make a comparison equation. I can say that this height here compares to the 6 centimeters, and this frequency density of 2.6 compares with the 1.5. They've got to be in the same ratio. So I could say that H compared with the 6 is exactly the same as comparing the 2.6 the frequency density here with the frequency density over there, 1.5. So to rearrange this equation I just need to multiply both sides by 6 and I get that the h value is 2.6 divided by 1.5 and multiplied by 6. And if you work this out what you get is 10.4 and this will be the height in centimetres, 10.4 centimetres. So that's going to be our height.